To demonstrate the use of the Web Importer, we have run a search in Google Scholar and I've been presented with my results. From this point, I can click on the Web Importer button and I will need to sign in the first time I use it using my username and password that we created earlier. Once that is done, you'll be logged in to your Mendeley account and those entries on that page will be pulled automatically through and be visible within the Web Importer pop-up on the right hand side. As you can see presented here, we have the bibliographic information, the PDF and the ability to edit the record at this point. So if you notice the details aren't quite correct or you need to add some additional information that isn't there, you can do so at this point by clicking on the edit button. Once you're happy with that, you can then proceed to select either all of those references and send them to an individual folder. You could also individually select those titles which you want to import and by clicking on the add button that will capture that information and import those into your Mendeley library as denoted by the tick symbol next to PDF and reference. I've closed that down now and when I go back into my Mendeley desktop software version you can see the most recently imported titles are appearing at the top of my page if they aren't pressing the sync button will pull those through for you. They've been sent to my all references area but it's also in my demo folder as that is where I selected to add those to the collection when using the web importer.